Hi there, my name is Mark, and I've created this YouTube video channel to help document um, my journey, my experience with uh, prostate cancer. It's uh, November 8th, 2015, and I've just arrived in New York City. I live in Miami, but um, for this particular surgery that I'm about to undergo, I wanted to work with a surgeon who is the best in the field, and that is Dr. David Samadhi, who is based here in New York City. I've created this channel because um, I know in my own journey, I was looking around YouTube just to get some uh, accurate testimonials and uh, experiences by other people that are in the same situation. And I, I found quite a few helpful ones. So I thought I would make my contribution and go through my history and uh, the surgery and what happens afterwards. And this series will run many years into the future. Um, if you're watching this anytime past November 2015, then I'm going to try to keep these videos in a time sequence so that you can follow it step by step and kind of learn where we're at. Um, right now, um, because I don't live in New York City and for the surgery, I wanted to, uh, you really have to spend about 10 days uh, before you can travel back home. Uh, I'm at a property here called the AKA Central Park and AKA is a sort of a mix between a hotel and an apartment building. Um, beautiful one-bedroom apartments, Wi-Fi, very modern, um, a little expensive, it runs about five to six hundred dollars a night. Um, but uh, you know, what are you going to do? When you're in New York City, it's going to be expensive. But anyway, um, very quickly, my journey started um, the last couple of years. I'm 51 years old. The last couple of years, I've been watching my PSA, uh, and it's been rising very, very steadily, very slowly from the threes to about 3.5 um, and last year I hit just about 3.9 but this year crossed over into 4 and uh, have been hovering about 4.3, 4.5. So um, that was my clue that um, this really had to be looked at uh, further and I visited my urologist in Miami. We did a biopsy and uh, it turned out that I tested positive for stage 2 cancer which basically uh, means uh, cancer was detected in my prostate in about three different areas, uh, but it's believed to all be contained within the prostate, and it's a very slow progressing cancer. So uh, given my age uh, and my health, and I'm in very good health, and I eat well, stay in good shape, the best solution, the best remedy for this is to remove the prostate. And I never can quite pronounce it right, but it's a radical pro prostateectomy, I believe. So today is Sunday, uh, November 8th. Tomorrow, November 9th, I visit Lenox Hill Hospital to have the surgery. And if you follow these videos, I'll post as much as I can about the surgery uh, immediately afterwards, what my thoughts and feelings are, uh, what my health is like. Uh, and uh, of course, the dreaded catheter is uh, in the works for me for about the next eight days. Well, after the surgery, it's about a week then it's removed um, and then it's recovery. So I'm gonna document as much as I can and hopefully if you're in the same situation, um, I can give some guidance. Uh, I expect this to be a positive experience. I'm a very optimistic person um, and at 51 years old, I have many, many years ahead of me. So uh, keep watching these videos and uh, if I can inspire you and help you along, it's my pleasure to do so. I'm just trying to pay it forward and make your experience as good as the one that I'm hoping to have myself.